start. On 8 November 2016, by the impure notification, the central government in exercise of the powers conferred by subsection within bracket 2 of section 26 of the RBI Act notified that the specified bank notes shall cease to be legal tender with effect from 9th November 2016. The SBNs were bank notes of denominations of the existing series of the value of rupees 500 and rupees 1000. Under clause 1 of the said notification, every banking company and every government treasury was required to complete and forward a return along with the details of SBN held by it at the close of business as on the 8th November 2016 not later than 13 hours on the 18th November 2016 to the designated regional office of the Reserve Bank of India. In so far as the individual persons were concerned under clause 2 of the impu notification, they were entitled to exchange SBNs in various banks specified therein up to 30th December 2016 subject to certain conditions. Initially, it provided a limit of rupees 4,000 for such exchange. It also provided that the limit of rupees 4,000 for exchanging SBNs shall be reviewed after 15 days from the date of commencement of the impu notification. It further provided that insofar as know your customer within bracket KYC complaint bank account maintained by a person with a bank was concerned, there was no limit on the quantity or value of the SBNs that could be credited to such an account. However, in so far as non-KYC complaint bank accounts were concerned, an outer limit was fixed at Rs. 50,000. There were certain other provisions made under the impu notification. By another notification of the event date, various other relaxations were granted whereunder SBNs could be used for making payments in government hospitals, pharmacies, railway booking centers, for purchases at consumer cooperative stores, milk booths, purchase of petrol, etc. The said relaxations were to be valid till 11th November 2016. Thereafter, various notifications came to be issued from time to time granting further relaxations. On 30th December 2016, the specified bank notes within bracket cessation of liabilities ordinance 2016 was promulgated by the Honorable President of India. Subsequently, the Parliament enacted the specified bank notes within bracket cessation of liabilities Act 2017, which received the assent of the then Honorable President of India on 27th February 2017. Section 3 of the 2017 Act provides that on and from the appointed day, notwithstanding anything contained in the RBI Act or any other law for the time being in force, the SBNs which had ceased to be legal tender in view of the impu notification of the Government of India shall cease to be liable of the RBI under Section 34 of the RBI Act and shall cease to have the guarantee of the central government under subsection within bracket 1 of Section 26 of the RBI Act. Section 4 of the 2017 Act provides for a grace period in case of certain classes of persons holding such HBNs on or before the 8th day of November 2016 for tendering with such declarations or statements at such offices of the RBI or in such other manner as may be specified by it. One of the classes of persons who was provided a grace period by clause within bracket Roman 1 of subsection within bracket 1 of section 4 of the 2017 Act was a citizen of India who makes a declaration that he was outside India between 9th November 2016 and 30th December 2016. Clause within bracket Roman 2 of subsection within bracket 1 of section 4 of the 2017 Act also provided a grace period for such class of persons and for such reasons as may be specified by notification by the central government. Stop.